In 1992, the Walt Disney production released one of the greatest animated sitcoms of all time. Goof Troop was an animated series that focused on the relationship between a father and his son, Goofy and Max. Today I want us to remember the beauty of its characters and remember the people who voiced them and where they are in 2024. So bear with me as we fly back 32 years back in the past. Let's start with a doctor named Franken-Goof, who was not a main character of the show, but was a close relative of Goofy and his son Max. Just like Frankenstein, Dr. Franken-Goof created a monster that was named Pete. Franken-Goof was voiced by a famous man named Bill Farmer, who is still doing voice acting up to date. Bill Farmer is married and have one child, and is 71 years old today. Next we find Pete, who just like Dr. Franken-Goof, was not a major character of the show, but had a high role of being one of the antagonists of the show, or as the streets called him, the bad guy. Pete was voiced by the famous Jim Cummings, who is a retired veteran of the voice acting platform. He is married and blessed with three children and is currently 71 years today. Maximilian Goof, or just Max Goof, was the main boy of the show and the son of Goofy. In the show, Max was around 14 years old, and just like any other teen, he was mostly embarrassed of his father, who tried to be in the daily life of Max. Max was voiced by Dana Hill, who was an uprising actress in Hollywood. Sadly, Dana Hill passed away July 15, 1996 from diabetes. She was only 32 years old and so much talented in her work. May she forever find peace. Now let's meet Peg Pete, who was the wife of Pete. She was a mother of two children named PJ and Pistol and was mostly known for her short temper but mostly managed to be a good person. Peg was voiced by the famous April Winchell, who is still an American actress and writer. She is married and is now 64 years old. Peter Pete Jr., or commonly known as PJ, was the eldest son of Pete and Peg. He was around 12 years old in the show and was just a supporting character. PJ was voiced by Rob Paulson, who is also a retired veteran in the voice acting committee. Rob is married and blessed with one child and is 68 years old today. To brighten up the show, Waffles was brought in and was a pet cat of Max and Goofy, who always chased dogs in the streets. Waffles was voiced by Frank Welker, who is an American voice actor and is mostly famous for voicing Megatron in the Transformers franchise. Frank is 78 years old today and is still continuing strong as a voice actor, despite his age. Pistol Pete was the youngest daughter of Pete and Peg and is five years old in the show. She always had a beautiful childish smile and had two ponytails on her hair. Pistol Pete was voiced by Nancy Cartwright, who is generally the greatest voice actress of our generation. She is an American actress best known for her role in The Simpsons as Bart Simpson. Nancy is blessed with two children and is 66 years old today. Duke was a really annoying boy who was the leader of his high school gang called the Pharaohs. He always had that 1950s look with a brown Elvis hairstyle and a navy blue jacket. He was voiced by a man named Jerry Hauser, who is a former American actor. He has been in the Hollywood business since the 1970s and is 72 years old today. Debbie appeared in two episodes in the 1992 version and was the older cousin of Max and the niece to Goofy. Debbie was voiced by another legend named Kath Susie, who has been in the acting business since 1978. She still voices animations and is currently 57 years old. Mrs. Pennypacker appeared only once in an episode called Date with Destiny, but then Disney decided to cut her role out of the show. Her role was important because Goofy had a huge crush on her and most probably would have married her by the end of the show. She was voiced by Susan Tolsky, who was a former American actress. Susan was born in 1943 in Houston, Texas, but sadly died on October 9, 2022. Her cause of death was ruled out to be of natural causes and was 79 years old at the time of her death. Colonel Carter was an antagonist in an episode called Shake, Rattle and Goof. 
We never saw him again after that episode. He was voiced by Tino Insana, who was an American actor, singer, and comedian. Tino Insana sadly passed away on May 31, 2017, while suffering complications with cancer at only 69 years old. Now let's meet a man named Slick, who was an antagonist in an episode called Counterfeit Goof. He was the look-alike of Goofy who used his looks to steal, but was arrested for charges of counterfeiting money. Slick was voiced by Richard Karen, who was a legendary voice actor back in his days. Richard sadly passed away in North Carolina on March 1, 2017. He was 82 years old. Mr. Hammerhead was one of Max Goof's teachers and is mostly seen in the episode Date with Destiny alongside Mrs. Pennypacker. He was voiced by Gary Owens, who was an American voice actor, a radio announcer, and sometimes even a disc jockey. Sadly, Gary Owens died February 12, 2015 from type 1 diabetes. He lived a successful life and died 80 years full of life. And not quite as involved as the others, Mrs. Willoughby appeared once in an episode called Goofin' Up the Social Ladder, as an old woman. She was voiced by a lady known as Andrea Martin, who is not so much known but is still a voice actress since the 80s. She is blessed with two amazing children and is 77 years old today. Tan Roadster was a car dealer who appeared to enjoy athletics and was interested in strong-willed women. Tan Roadster was voiced by Joe Piscopo, who is an American actor and a conservative radio talk show host. Joe is still alive with a healthy age of 73 years. Buster was an amazing guitarist who appeared once in the show in the episode Big City Blues. He was voiced by Dorian Harewood. Dorian is an American actor who is married and has two glorious children and is 73 years old as of 2024. And last but not least we have Gilda, who was also a one-off character in the episode Date with Destiny. Her role was not widely touched, so not much is known about her, but we know that she was voiced by the queen herself, Brenda Vaccaro. Brenda has won it all, from Grammy Awards to the Golden Globes, and even Academy Awards in her career. She was and still is one of the greatest vocal actor of all time. As of 2024, she is 84 years of age. And as we come to an end of today's episode, let us acknowledge how beautiful these characters were and how nostalgic they make us feel. I make these videos to show you how beautiful and simple animation shows and movies were and how emotional they made us feel. Animations these days will never feel like how they used to. And as we continue exploring the past, kindly feel free to join me by subscribing and liking my videos, if you love them that is. Till we meet next time.